Hello everyone, I am Crawlers and today I bring you a Christmas Battlefield special that, uh, well, you have to see it to believe pretty much. It's uh, really kind of crazy, you have all those different characters, the snowman, the um, Santa Clauses, and I do believe the sniper, the recon character, looks exactly like PewDiePie, and correct me if I'm wrong about this. Now, obviously, this is uh, gameplay. Uh, this gameplay was captured in the CTE, where dice are having a bit of fun with the Xmasy stuff, uh, like you know, break da break dancing Santa Clauses and ornaments and on trees and all that festive shit. But honestly, before every tryhard out there starts yelling, fix the damn game before you give us you know Easter eggs. I I'm just gonna have to point out here that. Uh, unfortunately, people don't seem to understand that uh, that well. That uh, these two things are completely different. You know, working on the so-called netcode and uh, gun mechanics and graphical things like deer antlers and Santa Clauses are done by completely different people and at different times. You know, not to mention that this is a, a lot easier than you know, fixing a broken mechanic well enough that it works across the board and, you know, satisfies everyone. And also the tiny fact that CTE is not very popular at the moment at all. Uh, when was it ever popular? And, you know, these silly things like Easter eggs attract people in waves, pretty much, to the CTE. So, you know, DICE is basically pimping out Battlefield 4 to attract you the dumbass public, and keep your, you know, short attention span going. So, less hate people, and, you know, more just playing and enjoying the game. But enough about that, we just got uh, another patch in the CTE, and I kind of want to mention it in this video. Now, uh, DICE is still working on improving f flight mechanics, and... Um, making the flight model a bit more skill-based, but again, you have to remember that uh, when uh, blindly calling for the Battlefield 2 mechanics, flight mechanics back, uh, first of all, not everything that worked in the old game would automatically uh, work in the new game, and not everything would look good or, you know, work with the new types of vehicles or maps even. And secondly, what DICE is trying to do is uh, what is essentially the hardest job here, that is to find a perfect balance between, you know, skill-based flight models and uh, flying being approachable by people who have just, you know, got the game for Christmas and then haven't played Battlefield before. So, you know, they want people to start up the game, dive right in and start uh, flying without, you know, having to go through a 30-minute course on how to move the mouse. And this is very hard because, uh, the, I mean, they've already removed the row and pitch limiters from the helicopters, as I showed you in my um, video about the barrel low, rows and the loops. And, well, uh, well, th those things are possible in the choppers now, and obviously they became more uh, skill-based, more harder to fly, but again, you know, less approachable by noobs and people that have just gotten into the game. And, uh, by the way, they are making the jet model uh, more straightforward. For example, now the slower you go, the tighter you will turn. So, uh, you know, gone other days of the magical uh, 313 uh, number that gave you the tightest turn possible. Uh, that sweet spot in airspeed. They've uh, also been working on uh, balancing the launchers, although, uh, by my opinion, not enough. Um, they've reduced the straw uh, manual turning and speed, although uh, the CTE changes are never final or, you know, in fact, guaranteed to make it into the vanilla release, but to me this sounds like a bad change. Uh, manual straw should not be nerfed in any way, shape, or form, I think. Uh, it's a skill-based weapon, and 
to use it, you must be really good at it. So, you know, the, uh, I don't think that it should be nerfed in the manual mode at all. Uh, they've also reduced the laser designator draw damage. And while I agree with this change, I think they should have gone a step further. I think uh, the straw shouldn't be laser guided at all since it already has the manual mode. And ditto with the MBT law, by the way. It shouldn't be laser guided, in my opinion. Uh, too many lock on weapons in the game already that do too little damage and don't have any, uh, you know, difference between their mechanics. I think uh, they should just buff the javelin, uh, go back to its glory days and get on with it, you know, leave the other launchers uh, dumb and unguided or self-guided, as is the case of the MBT law. Um, jet and hel uh, helicopter cannons now inherit uh, speed, which should fix the predictive sight being inaccurate, according to DICE. And I cannot over uh, overstate how good this change is. I mean, forever it seems uh, the predictive sight on helicopters in Battlefield 4 uh, and to be frank, in Battlefield 3 has been broken, and my thinking was, why even have an, an electronic, you know, predictive sight if it uh, gives you the wrong point of impact every time? So this should be a very, very good change. Uh, the helicopter tow missile resupply time was now increased to 16 seconds. Um, honestly, I don't see this as a good change because... I never actually uh, used the tow missile, so nerfing it would make me use it even less. Does anyone use it now even? Uh, leave me a comment below, tell me what you guys think here. Um, the real gun also got an ammo increase, which I see is very good change. Uh, because, you know, 8 shots was not nearly enough. Uh, you know, some, uh, some shots are always going to miss as the smart guided projectiles don't always hit the uh, enemy as they aren't supremely OP. Uh, you have to be, you know, standing nearly still or just still not moving for it to hit and forget it if you're behind like a chain link fence or something like that. Uh, they also apparently planned on some other changes for the railgun but I didn't include them in this patch. Uh, there have also been some other miscellaneous fixes to the maps and collision objects, which are uh, too many for me to list, so I won't list them here. And finally, some real cool changes uh, to the reticle and hit marker customization. Um, here, uh, as I made this, uh, I made this animation in After Effects. Here in the menu, you can customize the size and color of each hit marker in red, green, and blue components, just like, you know, your, your TV or something like that. Uh, the RGB values apply here just like in whatever other program you run, like Photoshop or, you know, the easiest would be to use, uh, to use paint and just pick the color you want, you want and then choose... Uh, choose a specific color and then just copy down the uh, red, green and blue component values and, you know, uh, just jot them down and then enter them into Battlefield 4 menu, which uh, thankfully have been patched to show, the values have been patched to show uh, the real 0 to 255 values instead of only per percents. But honestly, I take it a, a step even further dice if you're if you're listening here uh, here's what I'm thinking while we are customizing the reticle in the RGB sliders you know show us the real time in real time what happens to the color in in a uh, sample reticle on the right side of the menu screen just as I did in After Effects here I mean it's empty anyway that side of the screen so use that real estate to show us what happens to the um, reticle as we customize it in real time instead of us having to alt tab into paint or something like that and you know 
note down the colors so we'd get it right because picking values just off the top of your head just isn't very convenient without um, seeing how they would actually look in the game first. Uh, DICE also gave us the option of having a damage dependent hit marker although this was uh, implemented before this patch but basically the hit marker can be thinner or thicker depending on uh, uh, where you do damage and and uh, the more damage you do let's say a headshot uh, you can you know then have a thicker uh, hit marker there to show that you actually did more damage and you can turn it off to have consistent hit marker thickness all over so thanks for watching please rate and share this video as it helps my channel grow check out my other videos at the end of this one and remember in soviet russia youtube subscribes you